Assalamu alaikum, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome back to Ruksam Mawa. If you're a channel subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time on my channel, I'm so glad to have you. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red button down below and then click on the notification bell to be the first person to actually get the notification whenever I upload a new video. So, um, yeah, guys, in my previous video, I have. <laughs> I really love that video guys so in my previous video I told you that I had an idea about I should share with you guys why I started YouTube in the first place why I started making videos and it's something that is really dear to my heart I don't think I've had that conversation with anyone even the person that really inspired me to start I don't think he knows that so yeah this is just me sharing it out because if you guys can remember when I renamed this channel I said it's going to be about me mostly you get to uh have stories you get to i will get to share stories with you guys on a personal level and so this is me being the Ruksamawa. so yeah uh if if you recently joined this channel and you're wondering what Ruksamawa means it it is just a combination of my name Rukaya and hamawa and yeah Ruks is short for Rukaya. so yeah my name is Rukaya muhammad salisu and let's get right into the video so um I think if I want to give you the the whole story, I have to take you guys to 19 to 20 years back in my life, which is, <laughs> God, that is a really long time. Oh my God, I feel so old right now. So yeah, 19 to 20 years back in my life, uh, my dad is a very adventurous person. He's a person with an adventurous spirit. And so whenever he is traveling out, he takes us with him. Yeah, we go on trips with him to like mostly it's the northern states of Nigeria yeah mostly those states he takes us with him and one thing that ever since I could remember my dad growing up is I have always seen him with a camera he is always with a camera close to him in his car you'll see a camera when he's if he's not in his car then he's definitely with it like he'll put it around his neck like this he, he just have this passion for photography and just making videos and then even when before even before I knew what vlogging was I didn't even know that he was actually vlogging our childhood experiences so yeah my dad kind of initiated me into it so yeah he like right before I knew what vlogging was I was initiated into it without even knowing so when we go on trips not just go on trips when we're just sitting in the house he'll just pick up his camera and start taking random videos of us or just he'll be like pose for a picture he will just be taking you pictures like you don't even know that he's taking those pictures and he would really take his time to document those videos he would edit i didn't even know then that he was even edit and then he would uh he would put them into this mini cassette cassette uh what are they called i don't know what they're called and then we'd watch together with him when especially when we go on a trip trip and come back he would take those mini clips document them and then put it into a single cassette and then we watch all together i remember the last time i had an experience like that was when we went to take dam that was like 2012 i think if i yeah 20, no 2010 that was almost 2010 2011 something like that yeah 2010 2011 something like that so we went there and then my sister they had this um you know school choreography that they did in their school and we all she all taught us and we all learned two of my sisters they told us i can't share that with you guys because it is so embarrassing <laughs> so my dad was in support that we go and then we perform it at Tegadam. so we went there and we performed that was the last time that i can remember ever having a clip or a vlog with my dad so from there like i was used to being on camera and just talking he would actually even if you don't want to talk he will make you talk he will be asking you questions uh -huh, where are you now you will tell him the location what's your name how old are you 
What are you doing? Where are you? Uh -huh. Describe your surrounding to me. Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Are you happy? You keep asking us those questions and it's just now that I realized that, oh my God, all this while, like he's just documenting the precious moments of our lives. So yeah, I will ask him if he has those clips because I really want to, if he has them, I want to watch it all over again. So yeah, I started developing that sense of being on camera and like vlogging then but then I, later in life because as i've told you i don't know if i shared it with you guys or it was someone else that i so yeah i was the talkative of the house and my siblings called me radio majorly that is another story for another day i talk too much and it's not that i talk too much i just love having deep conversations with people yeah anything any topic even if it's a useless topic or something that's not meaningful i will have a conversation with you i just want to talk to people i love talking to people especially my siblings i will bore them with my talks i would ask them uh -huh, do you know what happened like we'll talk about th anything and almost everything and nothing we'll talk about things i just love having deep conversations with people i even talk to myself that's the, 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 the level of how much i love to talk i realized like rooks okay you're good at this why not put it into a good use okay this is since you're known for it Put it into a good use and then another thing that actually encouraged me more is i really i love public speaking in my secondary school days like it is a school that encouraged us to talk publicly because we don't know where we're going to find ourselves in life so we were taught that and we would have elections and manifestos you're going to go out in the public tell them why you want to contest for this post talk to them just like random events they will organize speeches you you go and give a speech at this event you know things like this so i developed that interest and then not just that interest like i i took it with me to the next level of my life and then i realized like in any school programs i want to talk in any school programs i want to participate even though at the beginning i didn't want to i was first but then i just loved it so i realized i love to have deep conversations with people i love having discussion with people and but i don't know how to gain audience like i mean physical audience i don't know how to have that then i realized okay youtube is a good platform for me to start since i don't have physical audience i can have visual visual audience is that the word so yeah i started youtube at first my channel was because i love uh self-development i started talking about islam and motivation only so yeah it transferred like it transitioned into making islamic videos motivational videos into almost everything health i had a little bit of health videos in there i have spoken word poetry which mostly are voiced overs and lifestyle videos as well and just everything like anything that i'm passionate about i'll just make a video about it so that is my youtube journey so i started youtube because i wanted to have a platform to just talk to people deliver speech which in the process me making my youtube videos i am training myself to you know i don't know what the world has for me out there i don't know what allah has in store for me i don't know where i'm going to find myself but i have this passion to especially give talks at secondary school because i believe that in secondary school that is where you have we are not mostly in secondary schools what we're taught is you have to go to school so that you can go into college you can get into university have a good course and then graduate but nobody tells us about adulting nobody ever t ever teaches us okay when you are ad when you have become an adult this is what you're going to expect in life so i want to have that medium whereby i can talk to young i can i can talk to young people i can talk to teenagers advise them on how to uh how to have what's the word how to what to expect in life and how to really how to handle i wouldn't say how to handle life but how to approach how to have a good approach of in life how to you know mostly i want to focus mostly on building their mental health first because that is where we develop most of our mentalities we develop them right from teenage we harbor them and then they we nurture them in our adulthood and then they just bloom 
when we are fully adults or when you start when life starts hitting you hard that is where you realize okay i had this i had this program or i had this issue when i was in secondary school i had the issue i had this issue when i was young i want young i want young people i want teenagers to know that okay this is what we have and right now i can see that mostly the young people they are into this mental health they're into all that but during our time we didn't have none of that all we had was just study 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 and be successful in life nobody tells you how to handle that success nobody teaches you how to actually be in that process of succeeding nobody teaches you that so i want i want to this is one of the things that i really want so yeah that's why i pretty much started my youtube video so yeah i think that's pretty much everything thank you so much guys for being with me till the end of this video and if you really like it give it a thumbs up please do share with your family and friends and comment down below if you have any other thing you want to add on the video or if you, if you just simply want to comment on the video do comment do leave it in the comment section down below thank you so much for being with me and yeah meet you guys in my next video thank you